Hello, I'm Peter Malone, freedomforjournalists.com. Today we are going to be bringing awareness to World Kidney Day. And my special guest with me is Andrew Ashery. Andrew, welcome to my show. What can you tell us about World Kidney Day? Well, um, World Kidney Day it happens every year in March. Um, it's usually on a, I think it's on a Thursday every year. Well, this year it's on the 12th. So March 12th, 2020. And it's tried to raise awareness for kidney disease and kidney health in general. Okay, how did you get acquainted with uh, kidney disease? Well, I was diagnosed when I was nine years old and it turns out I had a birth defect I was born with. I was six since I was a baby, but the doctor never was able to tell me why. Just kept telling my mom that I'm healthy, maybe it's just the flu, you know, just little things. And it went nine years like that, I was always sick. And by the time I was nine, I had a blood pressure of 230 over 180. Normal is 120 over 70 or 120 over 80. So that was really bad, especially for a nine-year-old. And I was also going blind in one eye. Turns out it was from the high pressure. And they thought I had a brain tumor. It turns out, nope, I, was, I had kidney failure. Wow, when was the first time you had a kidney transplant? Um, a few years later in my teens, like first they took out both my kidneys because, well, they were diseased from so many infections. I went on peritoneal dialysis and I don't know if the list for children's is different than adults but it didn't take long. It was two months and I had a, a transplant. I got a kidney from someone who died in a motorcycle accident, just a young guy. I think it was like his early 20s. That one lasted for 11 years and then rejected and then I was back on dialysis again. So would this be your first kidney or your second kidney that you're on right now and uh, are you on a waiting list for another kidney? Well, right now I have no functioning kidneys. After the first one had uh, failed, I went, I had uh, peritoneal dialysis and then ended up with a bad infection and ended up having to switch to hemodialysis. And so I waited about seven years through that time and got a second transplant. And that one lasted 10 years. And then I got a septic shock and, and pneumonia. And they don't know why I got so sick, but I was suddenly so sick and the kidney just stopped working wasn't rejection, just stopped working. So now I'm back on dialysis again for the, for the last two years and I'm not quite on the waiting list yet, but I'm just about to go on it and we'll see how long it'll take, but usually they say about five to 10 years, but because I have more antibodies from the previous transplants, it could take even longer. Hmm. Now, what can you tell us about the kidney awareness event that's gonna be happening in our city, Windsor? Well, it's actually today, Thursday, March 12th, 2020. And every year there's a World Kidney Day in March to raise awareness about kidney health in general and kidney disease and just to take care of your, your kidneys because you never, you, it's at, for the first stages of kidney failure or kidney disease, uh, stage one, two, and three even, sometimes there's no symptoms. So it's good to get an annual checkup just to check on your kidneys, just to make sure they're okay because you never know. Some of the warning signs are high blood pressure, lethargy, uh, pain in the lower of your back. Um, when I was diagnosed, I was just so young. I didn't really notice any of those symptoms, just I was always so weak and sick. Now going back to uh, good kidneys and all, um, what can one do to make sure that they keep their kidneys in regular basis? Well, first with healthy kidneys, you want to drink lots of water, you know, drink uh, about two liters a day of water, you know, and you can drink uh, anything really, but water is best. You know, you want to keep those kidneys flushed. Mm. You know, if you're going to the washroom and your urine is dark, you, you're dehydrated. You mm. need to keep hydrated. Okay. And what can you tell us about this uh, symbol of six? I hope I'm doing it right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that has to do with Canada. Um, the Kidney Foundation of Canada has decided to use the six degree theory that um, if you go by six degrees, you're pretty much guaranteed to run into someone else that's affected by the same thing you are. We're all connected, in other words. That's why they, they say, you know, show your six, you know, and um, for World Kidney Day, or even March is Kidney Health Month, and then April is coming up, that's Organ Donor Month. So this is a good time of year to get the awareness out. Okay, well, why don't we uh, sign off with uh, doing that symbol? Six. Six. Okay.